Hi everyone, this is James Christian, author of The Art of Multi-Tenor Drumming, and I'm here with you today from rudimentaluniversity.com. In this video, I'm going to play etude number 19, entitled Fibonacci. This solo is for all you math geeks out there. This solo comes from the Fibonacci sequence, which if you have forgotten what that is from your high school algebra class, it's basically a set of numbers. The first two are number is one and one. You add those two together to get two, then you add the second and third number, one plus two to equal three. Then you add the third and fourth number, two plus three equals five, and then three plus five equals eight, five plus eight equals 13, and so forth. And this series goes on forever. So I took that and uh, as the general sequence, and then I was wondering how I could apply that to music. And I uh, tried some experiments with uh, scales with xylophone and all that, but I also, of course, tried it with tenor drums. And so what I did is I took the numbers and assigned them to the different drums on the tenors. So generally speaking, the number one equals drum one, drum two was number two, drum three was number three, drum four was number four, and the Spock drum was number five. Then I just simply repeated the sequence. Drum one is six, drum two is seven, drum three is eight, drum four is nine, Spock drum is 10, and then drum one is 11, drum two is 12, and so forth. So that whole thing kept going. So I took the Fibonacci sequence and found those numbers that corresponded to the numbers that I'd assigned to the different drums, and it actually created kind of an interesting little pattern. That pattern has 20 notes in it, and the fascinating thing was, after those 20 notes come, when you start going further into the Fibonacci sequence, those exact same 20 notes repeat again, and it just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. And so it kind of created a little interesting melody, I thought. And uh, other composers have used the Fibonacci sequence, at least musicologists think they have found that in their writings with Bartok and Debussy and Sati and others. So anyway, I thought I'd give my try at it with uh, the tenor drums. The other thing on this is as I was writing the book with the etudes, I decided I wanted to have three sets of etudes that focused on sweet patterns. And so as I was doing it, I needed kind of a structure to put with them. And so when I came up with this little melody, it just kind of wrote itself. So I started playing the main melody, and then I put doubles on them, and then I incorporate a lot of sweet patterns into them. So I was pretty happy with how this one came out. I think it has kind of a cool, slightly futuristic feel to it. And uh, hopefully all the math nerds out there will enjoy it. And if you want to read more details on how I derived the ideas for this solo, uh, they will be in the notes. Uh, if you go to rudimentaluniversity.com, and I'll put the notes um, in the description on this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, here it is, Fibonacci. <laughs> 